different groups here in Wisconsin who are working on getting people over to NATO. Um, I've been working on a grannies in the G8, uh, which actually brings up Madison. I would love to get a hold of the grannies groups there and see if any of them would be interested. Um, we're actually going to, to do the timeline. Um, I do know that there is a group biking from Wisconsin uh, to the NATO efforts. A lot of national and local levels for us here in Wisconsin um, on the NATO things, so I'm not sure what Madison has planned there. Um, on April 7th, uh, Blaze and Rachel and a lot of our friends in Occupy Chicago, 2,000 occupiers took to the street in Chicago uh, and did a great direct action um, about NATO. So that was very successful in preparing for the upcoming um, direct actions on NATO. Um, also on the national level, we've got, and I'm not sure who is familiar or who has had time, because I know we all have a limited amount of time sometimes with work and life and everything else. There are a couple national incentives that are, are pretty big, and one of them is interoccupy.com. And that deals with a lot of a lot of different topics. It's a lot of groups out there. Say you're interested in campaign reform, Article 5, um, politics, um, mortgages. If you're interested in certain areas, there's even groups for like women. There's groups who also have OccupyCoordination.com. And that does a lot of, that's got five main groups and has a lot of moderating of meetings too. Um, the difference is you kind of have to figure out what works for you. All of it's wonderful. Um, some of it's more of an open mic type of meeting, and some of it is more personal. Um, on Occupy Coordination, one of the new efforts that I'm helping work with, uh, with a business lawyer from Florida and Jesse from New York um, and a few others, is public records. So this is a new thing that we've got going, a project. Um, and what we're going to do is occupy the public records. And we're starting the archive of everything, and I would love to get together with the people in Madison about what we have for public records and our, we're going to try to bring it back uh, to them as much as they're trying to occupy us, the police and the government, we're going to bring it back to them and keep an archive. Um, great. I don't want to go get deep into that, but uh, anybody who's in, interested in that kind of stuff, that would be a great area for somebody who may only have 15 minutes a week. They can write a letter. Uh, requesting certain things from the government um, with and we'll have uh, forms and everything for everybody to fill out to help us get our voice heard and to make the government um, responsible for their actions so uh, you can get get together with me on that and I can get you to the right people um, there is also Jim Mueller, uh, I got to meet him, wonderful gentleman. Uh, we've got some things we're working on. He's got uh, some great ideas about the voting process and um, things to talk about that. So if there's people interested in trying to figure out the voting process or how to fix it and actually bring the votes back to the people, um, there's that group, and that is within our state. Um, out of California, Jay Cabrera, who is also another national moderator, uh, he also does the global incentives. I've worked with him for ooh, months now, since October. Um, I actually moderate the national IT um, working group, and the global IT working group is something else I have done. It's kind of quieted down over the last couple months. I'm sure it will pick back up. We've all had to do our own things. But I've worked uh, very closely with Jay Carrera from California and a lot of people from the California area. And there's some really neat things coming out of California, too. Um, a lot of it is political and campaigning and those type of stuff. So if you're interested in that, they actually have, uh, they're trying to work on a project, which uh, they're trying to get, if you're an occupier and you're a candidate, there's an actual website that you can go to now. Um, you just have to say what GA or what area you're from. So there's a couple criterias, but anybody can go ahead and put their information on to get recognition um, in that area. Another incentive they're doing, which I thought was really great, is um, actually sign a paper stating they will not take money from corporations while they're campaigning. They will only take money from people. So that's a that's a really big incentive for us um, if people are interested in that and, and making the candidates accountable. So that's another thing going on. Um, Gordon, uh, Gordon's a, a dear friend of mine from New Jersey. Gordon does a cook report. Um, this gentleman is instrumental 
um, in his knowledge in IT infrastructure, networking. Um, he does a lot of journalism with a lot of different people. Um, I've got a lot of information on him. I just kind of wanted to touch bases and, and the efforts. He works with a lot of different um, people in different areas on different subjects. And one of his most recent things on the national uh, on the national meeting we just did was about mortgage fraud audit. He's been doing a lot of research lately, and he thought this might be a good project for somebody to spearhead. I was actually going to call Minneapolis and see about uh, getting some of those people involved because I know they've done a lot with the occupied homes. But uh, Gordon brought up the fact that there is no mortgage fraud audit training and there's really no way to find out about it unless you pay a lawyer a lot of money. Uh, and then he also mentioned the Rachel Matta, uh, Matta, uh I believe she's a journalist, and the Greenboro, North Carolina incentive. So there's some work out on there, and he thought it would be good if some groups were interested in, in mortgage fraud out of training or teaching other occupiers um, about this so we could start spreading the word on that. And those are uh, just some of several incentives going on. Uh, I do coordinate with a lot of people around the state, so um, I am very excited to meet everybody. If there's any questions I can answer, uh, Joe um, is one of the state admins from Occupy River West. Uh, Brian um, from the Wisconsin Bailout, he's also uh, an administrator on the state level. And we have uh, Loki and Tony from Fond du Lac too. So they can also help. Um, I know everybody's kind of concentrated in their own cities, uh, but hopefully we can outreach now. And um, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share some information, and I will keep working hard to give you more information and I appreciate everything you've done and it's been an honor to talk with you and hopefully meet everybody soon. Thank you very much. Have a great Saturday. Bye.